Hi everyone, this is Elias Martin from CollectingJapanesePrints.com. I want to welcome all of you to Woodblock Wednesday, where every Wednesday we discuss Japanese prints and paintings as well as culture. Uh, today is a beautiful summer day here in Chicago, and I'm about to go on a nice bike ride, but I thought before I'd go... Uh, I'd, I'd share with you uh, four wonderful prints um, that uh, will be uh, going up on my website soon. I'm going to add to the current exhibition of night scenes uh, that are up on the site now. Uh, and that exhibition will actually end sometime in September, and then another one will go up. But before its finale, I'm going to add about a dozen or so prints of night scenes that I think uh, make a nice addition and continue the conversation of night scenes. And today's prints are actually uh, four by the same artist. Um, his name is Asami Kojo, and he depicted, he's actually more known as a Nihonga painter. And, uh, but he produced a series of prints featuring Nagoya, uh, which is a city in Japan. And um, it's in between uh, Tokyo and Kyoto. You actually pass through Nagoya if you're on the Shinkansen. Uh, and, and so, you know, traveling from Tokyo to Kyoto and back and forth, you, you'll, you'll, you'll arrive in Nagoya. And for those of you who stopped and visited Nagoya, Nagoya is a great town. It's uh, a smaller version of Tokyo, but it, it has its own culture and its own sites as well. And, uh, you know, uh, so Asami Kojo uh, depicted uh, famous scenes of Nagoya. And this series was produced uh, with really wonderful uh, quality of, of printing and colors. And the designs are, are just great. And I don't believe the, the series was produced in huge quantities. And so the quality of the prints that you find in the marketplace are fantastic. And the, the prints themselves really sort of express the, the qualities of a painter that you would find in uh, Asami Kojo's work. So um, with, without further ado, let's go to the table and have a look at these prints. So as I mentioned, there's four that uh, I have here that have come in recently. They're all night scenes. And, uh, and so we'll just go through each one and just kind of look at the highlights. This particular design is a really wonderful work of fireworks that are erupting right above a Tori a gate. Uh, and a Tori gate is a gate that's usually placed uh, in the entrance of a Shinto um, shrine or an area designated as, as set aside for a purpose of worshiping Shinto deities. And so here you have this family that's right outside the, the, um, the Tori gate and you see in the background this wonderful uh, background done in sort of a gray wash. And again, the fireworks, uh, and here we have the cartouche that, that basically, uh, you know, describes the, the title as well as the series. And so what I want to do is zoom in so you could see the fine detail of the printing. The, the printing on these prints is just fantastic. And they're done with a really strong sort of painterly quality. Again, um, echoing um, Sami Kojo's actually uh, long career as a Nihonga painter. Again, you'll see here in the background this wonderful wash of grays. It almost looks like a sumi ebb um, painting. But really, this is, again, all printed with a wood block. You see the wonderful bokashi or color gradation of light to dark um, that gives this, this, this background landscape sort of a dynamic uh, quality of light uh, sort of 
filtering through the landscape. It, it, it's beautiful. Now the, the next work, also a night scene as I mentioned, and here we have the entrance, or, or actually just right now, uh, is actually just underneath is a temple structure, a Buddhist temple structure, where you see the lantern here, where people usually walk through uh, the entrance in this direction. And this is the internal part of the complex of the, the temple. And uh, you see a, a sort of a Buddha on a lotus uh, petal here, and then you have parishioners um, walking around uh, and, and you know it's a night scene so there's all these stalls that are lit up on the side here and and, and there uh, and it's just again this is one of those designs that is very subtle uh, it's very you know the printing is so subtle you could see the wood grain in the background here and all of these details really give a, a really high quality effect on the printing. Uh, again, this, this series of uh, Nagoya was not produced in large quantities. And so when you see these prints in the marketplace, the printing is extraordinary. And this is really how early printings should look like. And, and of course, there's this wonderful sort of foggy night quality throughout the printing of the design that is just gives it a really wonderful sort of sheen to it. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see the qualities up close. An element of Asami Kojo's work that I actually really enjoy is that he actually spends a fair amount of time depicting uh, the faces of the people you see walking around. And that's very different from other Shinhanga artists such as uh, Hiroshi Oshida, Hasui, even Koetsu. The, the, the figures in the landscapes are actually just part of the landscape. And they don't really populate uh, those designs with a personality of the of the individuals. And here you could see that that's just not the case. There's there's people with uh, very specific faces and reactions as to what's going on. I um, mean, I'll zoom in even closer. And if I, if I may, I'm going to go back to the, the one we just discussed. And you could see the, the, there are the figures that are, the faces that are shown, they have specific uh, characteristics and personalities that are brought out by the design, which is really actually kind of unusual for Shinhanga prints. So, you know, that, that is actually something very uh, unique, something you don't see. And my, my favorite figure is this guy here with this cane walking away. Um, he has a nice, cool hat there. Uh, so, I mean, again, all of these figures, even the ones in the, in the shadows and um, in the foggy night, still have a, a personality and a face, which I find really interesting. So, uh Moving on to the next work, that um, aspect is very much conveyed in this design as well. I mean, zooming in, you could see the figures uh, with faces and features. You could see this gentleman's nose here. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's very distinctive. So you, you might imagine that the artist was actually depicting a person he may have known. And of course, more figures here. They all look very different from each other. All, you can almost kind of discern a little bit of their personalities and what they might be saying. 
And of course, the, the design itself is very dramatic and beautiful. It's a backlit with all of these wonderful lanterns that you the light sort of spills out into the night air. And it creates this wonderful sort of halo effect around the willow trees and around the, the rooftops. It's, it's a very beautiful, delightful scene. And the, the printing on this, as all of the, the printings of all of these prints, is so fine. The detail, the softness, it's this, this, this really contrast between the, the sharp lines of that, that create the structures and, and the elements in the design, but at the same time, they're softened by the colors that are printed over that create this wonderful atmospheric quality to it. Uh, and so the, this is the kind of printing you would expect on the earliest impressions. But because, again, the, the series was not produced in vast quantities, the prints that you do see in the marketplace are all really quite fine. So pan, I'm panning back to the designs that we, we just discussed. And then the last work is a really dramatic uh, design. Uh, again, we have, um, so this looks like a, a temple, and this is the, uh, the courtyard, and then you have all of these figures here walking around, and these, these kids admiring these torches that are really dramatic. You, you see the torches lit and the, and the smoke that sort of ascends, and that smoke actually is printed with a gold um, pigment that adds a, a lot of drama um, and movement to, to the, uh, the design. You could just kind of see, it's very hard to capture um, here on my phone, but you, know, you, you could see the sort of the gold sort of spilling out from the reds of the, of the fire. And of course the printing, um, you could see the wood grain in the sky. And uh, I mean, the, the printing is such a beautiful quality of these prints that it, it's, it's, it's actually amazing to see them. Uh, they don't come up for sale that often, partly because they weren't produced in, in, in these vast quantities that you would see other Shinhanga artists. I would imagine the reason why is that Nagoya scenes were not as popular as uh, you know Tokyo scenes or scenes of in and out of Tokyo. And, and so these were more of a local curiosity for people who lived in the Nagoya area or had family there. And so they bought these sort of because they were nostalgic or, or connected to certain areas in Nagoya. But because of that, the, the quantities weren't produced in, in, in the quantities you would imagine being done in, in Edo or in Tokyo. So, uh, again, the quality of these are just fine. I think it's really refreshing, as I mentioned, for Shinhanga artists to, to actually depict these people that are populated in his prints with such... Uh, uh, you know, basically you could see very uh, defined characteristics on the faces. And so you can almost make out different individuals, um, which may have been uh, people who you've known. So it's, it's really interesting to see that uh, for a Shinhanga artist. So all of these prints are Oban in formats, which is the traditional format. They're roughly the size of a sheet of paper, a little larger. And so that, it, that gives you a sense of scale. And I'll just kind of move back so you can see all, all four right next to each other. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at those Asami Gojo prints. They're works that you don't often see. Uh, and it's it's kind of thing that I love being able to um, acquire for the website. I like to introduce a lot of really high quality uh, prints, but also prints with that same quality, but are not as well known. And so that's what you should expect 
uh, from my website and from our talks here every Wednesday. And so thanks uh, for joining me. And of course, we'll come back uh, and see you next week, next Wednesday. Uh, I will be, I think I'll be traveling next week, but I might be able to do a live chat with a collector, which might be kind of neat. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And thanks again for joining me. And if you haven't had a chance, please go to collectingjapaneseprints.com and check out our latest exhibition. We also have books and links to wonderful uh, information on museums and activities worldwide, but with a focus on Japan. And uh, there's a lot of uh, new things coming up on the horizon for our website, so uh, keep an eye out. So thanks again for joining me. I'll see you in a week. Thanks. Bye.